Okay guys, today is Mr. Brophy's birthday party. Now we gotta make sure this is as quiet as possible and that we gotta get everything done before Mr. Brophy wakes up. So let's hurry up and let's get started. Okay guys, now we gotta get some things done here and... What is that, Mr. Happy? Why, what is what, Mr. Tall? That, that thing on the ground, the hideous, disgusting thing, that thing? Oh, how wonderfully disgusting! A wad of old, greasy, hairy tape! Can you get rid of that tape thing, whatever it is? Because wouldn't it be horrible if Mr. Grumpy stepped on it? Oh, yes, Mr. Tall. But remember, next time you have a childish mental outburst, keep it quiet, because Mr. Grumpy could hear us. Now, here, let me just dispose of this gross thing. Oh, I just love doing shared decor for parties. Particularly this one. You know what I'm talking about, right, audience? Of course you don't. You're not catering for Mr. Grumpy's party. But another thing I love is this. I didn't think it could be done. This special hat that Mr. Tickle made for me. Specially hand-knit, warm, and clean hand-knit hat. I met peace and... What the? Sweet Henrietta! Revolting! Uh, uh, it's so gross! It touched me! It touched me! Uh, it's all over my hands! Uh, grease! Okay, thank you, Mr. Happy, because you got that disgusting thing off the ground. Oh, hey, Mr. Reed, can, uh, can you help me with Not that? now! I was going to ask you to help Mr. Bump. Oh, uh, how are you doing out there, Mr. Bump? Uh, yeah. I'm not doing all especially well, Mr. Tall. I'm trying to bang his banner and my chair feels a little rickety. Just a little closer. Just a little closer. Come on. Careful, Mr. Buff, you almost hit Mr. Grumpy's car. What was that? Mr. Rude, what are you doing in here? What, you sound surprised? Why should I help? With your birthday? It's not even for me! Because you are Mr. Grumpy's best friend and you are part of this party planning. Yeah, but I don't care. Well, it's just that you you should be helping me, but I'm the one doing all the work here. It's good for you. Strap up and get back to work and leave me to these ships here. It's just not natural. I'll give you natural. <laughs> oh, Mr. Rude! I don't care. Go away! Oh, no. The banner is messed up. No, it is not. This is how a banner is supposed to look. Mr. Stubborn, no, it's not. It's messed up. What? This? This is how a birthday banner is supposed to look. See? No words. There is words on the back. This is how a banner is supposed to look for a birthday party. Nonetheless, for Mr. Grumpy's. No, it's supposed to be forward and it's supposed to be hanging up there. No, it is not. You are crazy. No, look. Look at this picture I envisioned. This is what the banner should look like. It should be saying, Happy Birthday, Mr. Grumpy. And it should be perfectly in the front side. This banner and your drawing are cheap! No. I'm, anyway, I'm just gonna go look at and see how Mr. Lazy's doing on his watch job. You do that! This banner is definitely cheap! We didn't need that there anyway! Mr. Lazy, how are you doing up here watching? Oh, oh no. Purple fluffy pillows. Wake up. Whatever. Oh, it's right, Miss Calamity. I like poodles, too. Lazy's not doing his job. Now let's find out what time it is. Ah! We're gonna be late. Mr. Grumpy's gonna wake up and this is gonna be over. This isn't gonna work. Just, Mr. Tickle, stop tickling Mr. Quiet. Good tidings, Mr. Tall. My associate, Mr. Nosey, was just wondering what you have for breakfast this morning. No, no, Mr. Small. Mr. Fussy, just keep waiting. Mr. Messy, stop waiting. You're making it worse. Indeed, Mr. Messy, you are making this worse! Stop cleaning! Sorry, Mr. Fussy, Mr. Tall, I was just thinking that garbanzo bean juice would make a really good cleaning implement. Turns out it doesn't. Well, you know, I'm just gonna go treat Mr. Bump's wounds or something. Catch you later! Alright, Mr. Bump, I'm on my way! Shazam! 
Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Check, check, and... Well, Mr. Tall, it seems like you're doing a really great job! Well, um, thank you, Mr. Noisy. I've been under a lot of pressure. What? You have to be quiet! Mr. Grumpy's gonna hear you! He's gonna know that we played a surprise party this whole time! Get rid of that microphone, you're gonna wake him. You're being too loud, Mr. Tall! Keep your voice down so he doesn't hear us! You're gonna wake him up, not me! Quiet, Mr. Tall! You're being too loud! Shh, shh, I'm being quiet! He is really loud, isn't he? I am not- You should be Mr. Noisy, not me! You're being too loud! Keep your voice down, Mr. Tall, or I'm gonna have to ask you to leave! Can you keep that microphone away? Be quiet! Oh, crooked cucumbers! What are you guys doing? It's six o'clock in the morning on my birthday! I can hear you the whole time! Keep it down! You can hear us the whole time, Mr. Grumpy? Of course I can hear you dodo birds at this cockamamie party! Especially you, Mr. Tall! You were the loudest! Complaining and whining! Go! Oh, you make me sick! Um, well, go back to bed, Mr. Grumpy. We will have the, uh, party ready by 8 o'clock. Oh, let's hope you won't even make this party. But, if you have to, whatever. Gosh. All the times I can't get my stupid sleep. Alright, I'm here. Mr. Tall, where is everybody? Well, uh, they were all getting hungry because it was getting close to breakfast, so I let them out, all out for a breakfast break. And since you said you didn't like any decoration, so I took it all down. So, what do you think? What do I think? What do I think? I'm so sorry. I'll tell you what I think. 